¡Bienvenidos a México! Traffic ahead. Watch out for that.
ditch.
using weapons we had never dreamed of. But death is death, no matter where you are. And suffering is the same in every language. Bringen Sie uns dahin, Katz! Bereit machen für Einschlag! Panzer! 12 Uhr, genau vor uns! Formation halten! Wir sind in Reichweite! Feuer an wieder! Technology moved faster than you could think how to use it. Yours, theirs, it didn't matter. This war would prove that from ocean bed to mountain top, the greatest killing machine is man. Attention, he's arrived. just about the soldiers on the front. This time, the crosshairs found the workers on the assembly line. They found the commuters on the train. And they found the children in the schools.
Infantry, volunteers, conscripts, them and us. It didn't matter where the danger came from. The threat of death unified everyone. Victory. And staying alive. Man's unworthiest creation. What led it back to us? Does a hidden hand guide it? Birthing us in violence and blood? Ending us in fear? Alone?
the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is it gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or watch it! Or raises him as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? Look out! You've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place. Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? I have to go again. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your... This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. Hey, hey, please, please. Not the water. It's torture. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. Enough! Dry him off! Are we gonna get him up? <coughs> Mr. Phillips! Ask him about Tay here. 
Shumash. Driving. Hey man, what's up? So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. This was a nice car! I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the... I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Help me pick this up. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? What do I know? You might be an Azerbaijan, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. <laughs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. Oh! Oh! Please don't! Stop it! It's done the trick. Yep, he comes. That was torture! <laughs> the government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our time. This is a mental battle, my brother. You... Ow! Let up! You might drown. Mm. Are we gonna get him up? Mm. I can't breathe. <laughs> Today's lesson? It's about government regulation. <laughs> Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. 
Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work. How you feeling? I need to get to the hospital. Nah, you're fine. I can it. Hey, fuck off. Be sure you I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you. I don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well, don't you remember? The Marshal? Global Pool? Who? Global Pool? Did you say Global Pool? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture, that's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. Departures. No one drives me to the... It'll be... Run. You're free. What my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really, now let's go, fuck off. Come on.